Hey, what's going on, Virgo? Thank you so much for tuning in. All right, Virgos, let's see what's up. See what's up with y'all today. I know it's been a minute, y'all. I've been really trying to keep up um, with life. <laughs> life is life in y'all. And I'm working and working and working and working and working. But I'm here, y'all. Thank you so much for being patient with me. Um, make sure you hit the like button. I definitely appreciate that. Don't forget to use the spirit of discernment. Flip your roles as you see fit. Uh, never force the message to fit. If you are triggered, they show me or not in my comment section. Also, remember, I am just the messenger. So don't be shooting me, okay? Don't throw no darts in my way, y'all. All right? It's all love. If it's something that you don't agree with, it's all good log off all right but um yeah i do love you i love all of my ogs that been um connecting with me um and also my new folk thank you so much for taking the opportunity to you know put some energy positive energy into my channels um definitely appreciate that i do um pray that my message will reach the right people at the right time in the right places thank you spirit all right so the world card came out right but it was in a reverse position and so it's some things that you have been trying to accomplish and it may feel like um, stuff is not coming full circle, okay? Some stuff that's not coming full circle. It's almost like it's, it's a challenge, but you have what it takes to succeed, Virgo, okay? Tell me about this page of Michaels. So you got to tap into your creativity at this time. So um, what am I hearing? It's like you're making steady progress. All right. Here's the vertex of creativity. Unlock your heart is also what I'm hearing. So some stuff from the past um, could be kind of surface, surfacing here because you do have some plans and you've been trying to accomplish some things and it's been a lot of delays. Okay, so that's why I'm hearing you have what it takes to succeed. This would look at this like an exciting new challenge, okay? And you're being asked to really unleash your um unleash your like imagination because this is your power to manifest. So let's just say daydream, right? Daydream. In my collective reading, I did pull daydream out. So that's it seems to be like the, the uh, collective energy period, right? But however, it's saying you will more easily hear and receive messages from the divine or your guides if you daydream regularly. So just relax and open your mind to receive without directing your thoughts. Just notice any feelings, visions, or ideas as if you were watching a movie. This is the seat of creativity, okay? So start the daydream because then the ideas are coming to you. Uh, you could be kind of like, I don't want to say blocking your intuition, but... Um, it's keeping you from being able to get those messages through your downloads. All right. True intentions and heart's desire. And so it says stay authentic and aligned, trusting your own inner wisdom to guide you towards genuine fulfillment. So what is your heart's desire? So sing along to your heart's song for it knows what you truly want. Right. So that's what um, you can literally manifest that. So whatever it is that you're trying to accomplish, whatever this is that you're envisioning in your world you can have a very happy ending for it. But for some reason, your heart chakra is blocked. It's like you stopped envisioning it. You may be now making like head over heart decisions. Like something caused you to stop really physically attuning to the frequency of love. And it has a lot to do with you not seeing the progress that you are hoping to see, especially because you put in so much energy, so much time, so much work into whatever you're doing. OK, um, it says love is at the heart of the matter. Your heart is the center within your physical being. So attune most to love. It's safe for you to love and be loved with an open heart as we stand by with perfect protection and guidance. So it could be somebody in your story right now that I'm envisioning as a King of Cups, okay? And you're not, you're still not fully opening up your heart to this person. 
You could have been in an abusive relationship before, whether it's mentally, emotionally, physically, however it is, right? But what spirit is asking you or, you know, really want you to see, like, what is most important to you? What is it that you envision for yourself when it comes to what you're trying to accomplish? Okay, so isolating is not going to be the answer, right? Um, focusing on the past is not going to be the answer, right? Because the hermit card is in the reverse and that speaks about isolation. All right, so yeah, work on your heart chakra. Tell me about this. Queen of Wands, it goes hand to hand. It's not just about love, right? So if we got a block in our heart chakra, yeah, of course, it's going to um, affect your love life. But it's also going to affect what you're trying to manifest. Okay, so you need your confidence in your in your inner wisdom, your higher self, all of that. It has to be there. You have to um, find yourself to be self-aware and confident, okay, during this journey. So it's like you're now having to be stay. You have to stay literally like laser focused on whatever it is that you are trying to manifest. It's like this determination. And it's like you cannot disconnect from what your heart truly desires. And whether that's love, whether that's, you know, a career, whatever it may be. Because what I'm, what I'm sensing is like this is a time where you should be celebrating. Like you are actually walking into those moments and you're being asked to be vulnerable, okay? Asking to be um, vulnerable in love. Like open your heart to receive. Take great care of your heart, right, Virgo? Take great care of yourself. Nurture yourself. Prioritize your well-being and tread gently on your journey ahead. So try to be in the here and now, all right? Practice some mindfulness. Do some things to open your heart chakra. You know, you can Google um, some ways to unlock or unblock your heart chakra, okay? There's tons of ways, all right? Through guided meditation, through um, regular meditation, through um, Reiki, acupuncture, um, affirmations, you know, just it's, it's a tons of information out there. It has the dream weaver. And so dreaming and imagining brings you your powerful vision into reality. There you go, that daydreaming energy again. Stay open minded and receptive to the magic that's unfolding in your life. And so the magic is unfolding in your life. All right, but you got to tap back into your creativity. You got to dream again. At some point, you literally kind of came back to reality real quick. <laughs> okay, so it's like you're, you're operating in the 3D world right now where, truthfully, Virgo, like we are so far off from 3D. Like we have to kind of like we have to have that balance. Let's just put it that way. It's duality, right? We have to know how to be able to balance our right, between out dreaming and reality but don't stop dreaming because reality is kicking your ass right now right if that's the case okay and it's kind of keeping you and, and i get it because virgo we're very i'm a virgo to y'all nine nine we're very like <laughs> rational logical people okay and if you keep a friendly optimistic attitude that's what's going to serve you well all right Keep that determination there. Stay laser focused and just know that you are making miracles. It's just steady progress. Look at everything around you to see like, okay, I am actually manifesting some things. I am a step uh, um, further than what I was last year or last week or last month. Okay, so remember y'all, stay open. Daydream, connect back to your inner wisdom, connect back to your actual dreams, all right? Because they literally can turn into reality. You just got to keep going. Keep the momentum going, Virgo. All right? Love you guys. Peace.